May I join the Losers Club? I don't care what yearbook captions you saw. We are not yet an organized club. Come on. Second tray of French bread pizza coming out. Got him. I'll have you know I'm a stofer. Honey? The deed to the house is in the drawer under the phone. Meg, what you did back there boxing out those students was quite impressive. Really? I thought you were already divorced. I was. I'm getting divorced again. Hey, Stewie, what are you watching? The most glorious website of all time. You never know what's going to pop up next. I mean, there's some wild stuff out there. Brian, you save back issues of Costco magazine. Uh, it's called The Costco Connection. Joe Rogan interviews Boss Baby. Good night, Moon. Fact or hoax? On March 7th, 1999, a resistance took place at Treehouse Daycare in Atlanta, Georgia. He was not tired as he had slept 16 hours the previous evening. In fact, well, who? Lee. And as a scam to give parents time to themselves. Jenkins, I'm taking you off this murder. You're too close to the case. What if okay. I could get further away from the case? What do you I mean? Not what care if... who killed that family. Uh, nice. <laughs> get back to work. Okay, Stewie. Time to rest your little head. Here's your bottles. She's not sleeping. She's scrolling through old photos of herself. Oh, and now she's scrolled past a fundraiser for women of Iran. Not even a like. Hey, Quagmire, what are you doing here? One of these gals turning 18? Oh, I'm a oh. long-time fan of the sport, and I find it relaxing here. So then I said, what do you think of my hair now, Dad? What did he say? He said he loved me either way. <laughs> oh, God, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't care about any of that. Megan. Okay, Griffin, you're up next. Take a shot. <sighs> yeah, no. I've seen enough, Griffin. I guess I was wrong about you. Hey, Meg, I can see your penis. <laughs> she looked. She did look. <laughs> well, okay. You're on the team. My daughter made the basketball team. A lot. A lot to celebrate today. And that was meant to be an insult. Our first game is tomorrow, and the whole team is counting on it. You did much better at tryouts, right? Yeah. Well, what was different? My socks? Help Wait. is a more positive word than I would use, but technically, yeah. All right, I'm going to go to the gym snack bar and buy a Dixie cup of Diet Pepsi for six bucks. <laughs> Stewie, it's three o'clock. Shouldn't you be napping? Done with naps. Vaccine-laced breast milk and lies. Baby I'm... Trutha, 1776, explained that my eyes won't stay like this when I cross them. Yes, there are some white lies that parents tell their kids, but yeah, that's... Right, that's probably what Britney Spears' father tells her. Family Guy, we're on Britney's side now that it's popular. Here we go, Meg, here we go! Are you recording this? I can't. I hope I don't ruin some teenage sexual encounter. Ow! The finger I was about to use! Mimi! Pass it to me! I'm open! <laughs> hey, Meg! Every game you play is a game of horse with that face! <laughs> oh! Boom! Goes the Babadook! Hey, Meg! This is the closest you're ever gonna get to hard wood! I can't believe I'm saying this, but Peter, you're right. Meg's pronouns are yick and uh. Oh, this feels wrong, but I don't know if I've ever seen Meg succeed at anything like this before. <laughs> Unbelievable. It feels so good knowing I gave birth to a star athlete. Like Happening. First one to the bedroom gets to be on the bottom. Stewie, honey, don't come upstairs for a bit. The floor is lava again. Now to confront the deceivers. Stewie, I don't think you should go in there. <laughs> Stewie, no! <gasps> hey, Meg, you play like Kobe. Beef, Jiminy Christmas. <coughs> no, it's fine. Don't throw it to Griffin. She said... Oh, no, Peter lost his voice at just the worst time. Stewie, buddy, you know, incident. I have no idea to what you're referring. Leave Stewie alone. He's a good boy. But come on, Stewie, you want to talk about it? It's not polite to talk like that in front of Stewie. He's just a wee child. In front of Stewie? Could what you saw in Peter and Lois's bedroom have been that traumatizing? I'm the Jace man. I give purple nurples. Ow, my nipple! Damn it, I hate the Jace man! Well, he lost his voice, Dr. Hartman. I'm going to microwave my lunch right now, but I just want you to know I'm totally listening. It's half a calzone. 30 seconds, then check it. 
Are you gonna help us? He's barely been able to speak. If he tries to speak too soon, he could damage his vocal cords and lose his voice forever. Oh my god. What is it? No, he just wanted to show me he threw a Garfield. Ugh, not even close. Okay, here it is. Multiple personality disorder. Okay, it says here that the first thing I need to do is talk to the dominant personality. <laughs> Ow! What the hell, Stewie? It's Rick! In control when my wife and three daughters emasculate me. <laughs> Bring back that southern guy! I can't believe Peter's lost his voice. Well, I don't know if it's gonna work, but he brought a whiteboard. You're doing to this game what R. Kelly did to all the... Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying the rest of that. Uh, Peter, you're too slow. Let me try to give her the business. You used to walk pigeon-toed, but got better with the right shoes. We're so sorry, honey. Yeah, uh, it turns out our team is still advancing to the championship game. I have to do something! Or now, Mrs. Padbury Wilkerson, can you tell me about Stewie's problem? What's the big deal? It's just sex. It's just a prude Mrs. who's never gotten enough vitamin D, if you know what I mean. This is ridiculous. Shh. It's to summon I... them all and let them work out their differences. I was about you hoist off them BVDs and I do you on a front yard couch. Enough! Stewie, you're losing it because you haven't napped in days. You're cranky. You're scared. Listen. It was just Lois looking very closely at the sheets so she could check the thread count. That makes sense. I like that. Phew. Ah, I guess I really could use a nap. Some Determining thread count with the naked eye would take hours. Uh, shut your tea and cake hole, woman. Let me roll with this lie. And we've got a tie heading into the final moments of this championship game. Uh, Meg is really stinking out and there. As the ball drives to the hoop, and she's fouled by exact two chances to win this game for Adam West High. Oh, a wide miss. Come on, Meg. Time out! Dad, you have insulted me every day of my entire life. And now the moment when I need it. You've got nothing? I'm going to hit this shot without your help. And when I do... Shut up. Meg. What did you say? Shut up, Meg. Don't. You could lose your voice forever. I wish we never had you. There's my dad. And Meg Griffin wins it. That year, the team had its best season in school history, and I won this voiceover in the divorce.